All right, we had a gully washer. Excavating and the drain and gutters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is no water anywhere. All right, I'm going to snake my way around, but because I want to get down to them gutter pipes. And I want to see how they're running down here at the exit. All right, here's drain tile. Water's going to come down this hill and seep. You know, slowly into the rock and shoot down this drain tile. Oh, yes, I see success. Well, December 9th, and we are getting a nice little hailstorm. All right, we had a gully washer probably about an hour ago. I was up by the other house. Um, so I'm just getting down to here and just checking out all the um, excavating and the drain and gutters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is no water anywhere standing in the driveway or anywhere near the concrete, which is amazing. Uh, both sides, you can see are running just a little bit, which is exactly what it was supposed to do. Looks like it's coming over just a little bit right here. Otherwise, I can see it running. And it's coming out over here. And then following that little bit of a ditch right there. And on the other side, this was our trouble side. This always had water coming up on it. Looks like that issue is solved. And there's really not anything running up there, which it shouldn't because it's all buried. And it opens up down there. Um, the concrete's wet here because the, it was very windy. In fact, it hailed for a while. So um, it's only wet because of that, not because the water came up. You can see even the seed looks like it's even undisturbed. You can hear the gutters running. Doesn't look like anybody overflowed. Oh, that's all good news. All right, here we are, December 9th, and we had a gully washer about an hour, hour and a half ago, and it's been raining light since then, so let's run up to the cabin. I got my muck boots on, see if we can find evidence of water that overflowed my ditch with the drain tile, and evidence of water that may have overflowed the gutters, or if all of my drain tile and gutter pipes all worked flawlessly and we have totally mitigated the water coming down this hillside. So let's check it out. Oh, look at a big puddle right there. That culvert pipe is crushed on the end. Um, Sharon's out there wondering what she's doing. But so far so good boy oh, yeah you can see on the right side that this went down the ditch where it was supposed to all right I'm gonna sneak my way around but this is all working very well there's virtually virtually no water you could see just a tiny bit coming out of this ditch because that's all drain tile up here all right here's drain tile water's gonna come down this hill and seep you know slowly into the rock and shoot down this drain tile all the way down to the pond. Now I have to carefully work my way through the woods so I don't slip and bust another hip because <clears throat> I want to get down to them gutter pipes and I want to see how they're running down here at the exit. The little mini riprap ditch. So let me, let me carefully work my way around here. Uh, looks like the pond overflow 
might be running a little bit. Let's check them pipes on this side. Oh yes, I see success. Big time success. Biggie big time. All three, well, yeah, all three are running. The one on the right is the ditch on the right with the berry drain tile. And the other two are gutter pipes. You could see that it's a lot of water is hitting that drain tile and no longer coming up here. Um, you could see just a little bit is making its way over the top of the ground. That's minimal, especially after a gully washer. So we got a grip on it. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Let's go check the other side of the house. Same thing. The other side has a drain tile and two gutters. So the opposite side here is this drain tile under here. All right, so here's a midstream look. I uh, didn't really make the time to set up a camera. She had to hold it down every time. And then uh, one, okay, one gutter and one drain tile on this side. This ditch is doing its thing. It's wanting to come over here just a smidge, but this rain is good and I can recalibrate. It's going exactly where I planned perfectly. You know, this, if I'd have been two weeks earlier, this would all be grass, but it's not. So let's work our way around and check them pipes over there. All right, so this is where I had planned for the water on top of the ground to come. Let's see how the pipes are doing. clogged that right one is a gutter and this is the drain tile let me clean that out all right there's the drain tile that's bringing water from under that stone yeah. through that pipe here so all, all in all very big success Mitigating water on a house on a hillside And now I'm stuck again uh, So I'm I'm happy with it uh, if, it's, if this was all grass, I would have been happier But hey, I'll take it I guess an old an old guy can learn something over 15 years of dealing with water